Right, hello and welcome back to the second episode of our guide and our guide to the perk system. Today we're gonna go through the thrust uh, path in the melee path. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how it goes and give you some pointers and some tips. Um, this class we have actually played a little bit of because it's a quite strong class and it's a yeah. one of the few classes that you don't do hybrid classes of. Exactly. You sometimes hybridize by taking points from here, but you, if you want to play this class specifically, then all the points you need are in the class already. Indeed, that is true. Uh, as the last last episode, speed is the first option, obviously. But we're gonna go the right path now. Um, the first one is just normal plane out damage finesse. Although, you get 30% per perk point instead of only 15. So with this build you're gonna do a lot of damage, and you can basically insta-kill everything except the bosses. Um, after finesse we have dodge, which uh, increases dodge and attack launch distance. Uh, that is uh, pretty good. Like, I think it's, it's very nice. half bugged, because it's barely noticeable when I play with it. I, I notice it a lot, actually. Huh. Uh, anyways, it's just preference, I guess? <clears throat> yeah, but try to dodge now and then max it out and try to dodge later. You're gonna notice a difference. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after that, we have dexterity. L oh, it dodge. It's a lung lunge distance. Oh, that yeah, I don't that notice. one. Yeah, I don't really do that either. I don't think about I it though. Dodge, so. I notice, but it's the lunge part that I never notice. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. But I don't really think about it. Not really needed, I think. Dodge though is nice, like when you back off like this or to the side. It's very nice. Nice to have. After that, we have Dexterity. Decreases attack wind up. This one is super, super good. Because it's you can one of the strongest perks in the game. Yeah, because you can attack super fast. Uh, I'm just gonna go through the other ones as well. Uh, after that we have Critical Strike. Chance to deal uh, 2x melee damage. Uh, like this Good one pass. is decent, I guess. But not really necessary with this class. Because you basically insta-kill everything already. And... Uh, it's a lo very low chance even to proc it. You need to put full points in it, and by the yeah. time you have full points in it... Yeah. It's not worth it, I feel like. After that, you we have backstab. Stack everything else. Like, you can take it as a last point or something, but then yeah. you could just take toughness instead or something. Yeah. After that, we have backstab, which basically means you hit more if you hit them in the back. Uh, this one is good against bosses, but not really needed, I feel like. Yeah. yeah, this class is a boss killer, so it's not really necessary. Yeah, you don't really need it. Since the class in its entirety is super strong against bosses. So yeah. if you just want to be a little bit stronger against bosses, then yeah, you go ahead. Like, you can't insta-kill or two-shot the bosses, but you can like three-shot them or like four, I'm not sure. Like, they die very fast. And you can attack super fast with this class. Uh, after backstab, we have the ult uh, vanish. Um, activate to engulf yourself in smoke, causing enemies to lose sight of you. This one is totally not needed. It's so we're so bad. We're so fast. Can launch so far. Like maybe we're if you get sure. into a corner, but that should be basically impossible with this path. Like with this class, because uh, you're gonna be super fast, attack super fast, and dodge And you one-shot everything. Yeah, exactly. You, you one-shot everything. Being like, back yeah. into a corner means that you're not playing the class right and can just play another class. Yeah. I'm gonna put all the points in dexterity. Now I have full dexterity and I'm gonna attack super fast, as you can see. Look how fast I'm murdering these guys. Oh, they don't really stand a chance. So after we have maxed out dexterity, we're just gonna go another point in speed, just because 15% uh, is nice to have in the beginning, and 
the entire game, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, even if you play other classes, putting two points yeah. of speed is really nice to have. Like, it's not necessary for most classes, but it's uh, really nice to have. Yeah, it's very good to have. Uh, after, after that, though, we're gonna uh, alternate between putting a point in finesse and dodge. Damage. Um, yeah, because you get thirty percent extra finesse damage dodge, per point. Yeah. I didn't read the, I didn't read the, uh, the perks. I just think finesse. Oh, that doesn't sound like damage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like I don't insta kill everything now, but when I have uh, full finesse per points, then I'm gonna insta kill everything. And when I have the short spear, because that's the best one. The best one we've found so far, because for some reason Thrust mm. doesn't use two-handed weapons, even though there's a bunch of Thrust two-handed. Yeah, because it's only one-handed Thrust made of damage, which is stupid. Which yeah, there's no perk if you want to use a spear. Like a normal spear. Exactly, so it's redundant, really. Like it's just you, there. If, I feel like <laughs> it, if you max this path, you do more damage than you do with a spear. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna sell my rapier and then buy the short spear here. 2,000. It's relatively cheap, actually. Uh, 2,000, you can get it... Uh, uh, what round is this even? Let's see. Like, this is round 6, and I've not killed that many people. I have I... 300 bucks extra. Yeah. 50 now. With this spear, you're gonna insta-kill everything. When you have max damage. And I really like that about this class, and I really like that you can attack super fast. Yeah, but it's a little bit overpowered since for 2000 you can kill everything in the game. Yeah. yeah they, they can't really do anything. And even if you, you don't um, ever have to uh, block with this class because you can just dodge. And when, when you have a dodge fully maxed out, yeah, they can't reach you. It's oh, very they nice. Me. <laughs> They're smart. Yeah. I got out though because this class is OP. Like, just using dodge and the one shot and having extra speed makes this like basically Super one strong. of the three strongest classes in the game. There's yeah. three really strong ones, and this is one of those. Yeah. It's. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Like, uh, one downside with this class compared to, let's say, two-handed and maybe one-handed a bit, is that you can't kill as many, though. Like, you can't like max... You can get maybe three if you're lucky. Yeah, but usually, like, two if they are uh, stacked between each other, like, behind each other. Then maybe two, but maybe three sometimes. But with one-handed or two-handed, you can get like four or five sometimes. Because of dexterity, you attack so fast that between their attacks, you can attack. Yeah, exactly. And we're gonna probably have dexterity on a... Uh, a bunch of hybrid classes. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because uh, it uh, also decreases two-handed, because it decreases every kind of attack, really. Yeah. It's, it's best on nice. this class though, because you don't have to waste points on other things. Exactly. Like, if you're gonna take the, uh, dexterity, but you're gonna play two-handed, then you're gonna waste a bunch of points in... Uh, in finesse and... maybe not dodge, because you could still dodge, but... Yeah, finesse like, you waste finesse. points in, and if you don't... we say you don't want speed or dodge, uh, you want to... Have more damage or something? Yeah, then it's just too. Just waste. because the perks are good, it doesn't mean you always want them. Yeah. No, I have ninety percent extra damage. Like you get hundred fifty percent extra damage uh, with this class, so you can you get so much insta damage, and you can attack instantly, basically. Like th this class is so strong. But you don't really need to go uh, for the ult. 
I don't know if it's good as a beginner class because you need to rely on speed and uh, uh, thrust damage and they yeah. sometimes they're really good at blocking thrust. Yeah, sometimes they can just perish like so much. Like in I've noticed since the update they're not as good. Yeah, but they used to be super good at parrying thrust. Like you could not use thrust weapons. Yeah, before before, uh, like the old horde, you you couldn't use thrust at all. They just paired you over and over. Like, I got stuck in a corner and managed to get out because I stabbed fast enough. Yeah, but like even if you get stuck in a corner, you attack faster than them ev every time. <laughs> And you also insta-kill everything, so you're gonna insta-heal when you attack something. Only the downside with this class is uh, you don't have an ult, because if you take the ult, yeah, yeah you'd waste points, basically. Like, it doesn't really fit the class either, so I'm not sure why it's there. I, they could have get, given you a burst of speed, or... Yeah, like similarly. anything, really. Like. It's like, oh, you get super fast in like five seconds, or you have a dash that is forward dash, you know? Yeah. Instead, it's just like, oh, they don't target you. Good. And now I can kill them instantly, like I was already doing. Hmm. Uh, it feels like they... Like, but sure, you can w p take three points to get the ult. Yeah. It is three points, right? Yeah, one, two, three. Yep. I'm counting. Oh, yeah. This, yep. this, this is great. I know my numbers. <laughs> but you can just take three of the points that you would put in the dodge, let's say, and instead mm. take them to get down to the ult. And just like, oh, you get stuck in corners often, just ult, and then insta kill everything. Yeah, basically. Like, you could also. If you don't care about the dodge, let's say, you could just go for uh, the backstab damage, because then you can basically two or three shot the the, the boss. But you you're not, yeah, you don't need because you it. need the dodge for the boss. Like that's the only thing you need it for. But it's good for everything else. But that's the only thing it's necessary for, unless you take an alternative. Yeah, like you don't need the extra backstab damage. Uh, but if you're to kill if you're good enough at the game, you don't need that either. <laughs> like you don't need yeah. much when you're using this class. Like you you just need the dexterity and the finesse really. You don't re really need anything else. It's just good, nice to have bonuses. Like the speed is nice, the dodge is nice. It's uh, not mandatory necessarily really. I really, really like the dodge because I loved when they added it. And they added yeah. it after I'd already played it for a while on a mod. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice indeed. Like the old horde, uh, they didn't have dodge. Yeah, it was really hard. Yeah. You really appreciate it after playing old horde. Yeah. Very nice to have. As you can see, I can kill the armored shielders with this class already. I'm not even full damage yet. I have still one more point in the damage. That is why this class is probably one of the strongest class in the game for killing basically everything. Yeah, it's not it's not that great with giant groups and I don't think it would no. be that strong in Old Horde. No, probably not. Like, you could say that the uh, one-handed strike damage is better at killing bosses, because you can insta-kill the bosses. But, uh, yeah, it's not really that much better. I'm just you gonna... can demonstrate against this boss. Where... Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, why this class is so easy at taking out bosses. Now you fail. Just do that, he's gonna attack. Oh, I got hurt. You oh. failed. You fail. Oh, uh, I forgot that he has the thing where he doesn't die even if he dies. 
Oh, she almost <laughs> died anyway. Yeah. Even when you were messing up so much, you still didn't fail. Yeah, uh, like the one-handed left three three is better at taking out the bosses, but it's not really needed. And if you struggle uh, a little if bit, you want to use berserk. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. If you put in full points in berserk or two points, then you can two shot them, I guess. Or three shot that boss because that boss. But I think it, that boss is like still, that. This is still not the strongest class against bosses. Yeah, this is still not the strong. Yeah, this, that is not the strongest. I think though that because of the mod thing that we have on, maybe the boss is doing that. I don't think it does that uh, otherwise. I'm not sure. I'm not. Maybe I don't they think, added it. Yeah. Like I, I don't think the bosses did that before, but they could have added it, or it's just... The Maybe it's the only some bosses and you've never noticed. It's only that boss, the bold one. The other ones, there's not. So, um, I'm not sure. Anyways, yep, now I have full damage, so now I can insta-kill everything. Like, these guys just parry me, though, that's annoying. Like but like, I'm entirely sure this class would be ba basically useless in all the horde because <laughs> they parry so much more there. Yeah. They will just like say, oh, you want to stab us? Yeah, not gonna happen. Yeah, very true. And if you want to be better at if killing the bosses... If you have problems with bosses, just <laughs> lead him under the bridge and he'll hit his weapon in the bridge. Mm. No, if you have a problem with the bosses, then you can just max out the backstab and you will do so much damage. Like, you go like this. Does it work on bosses even? We've never played with it. Yeah, I've played with it. It does work on bosses. Huh. I've never played with it, ever. Because... Yeah, it's uh, decent against bosses. Not the best, but, uh, you know... Decent. It's not really worth it against anything else though, because you insta-kill everything else from uh, the front. So why would you ever take it if you not if you don't want to kill the bosses faster? It feels like almost every class has a boss killing perk. Yeah. Basically, they maybe did that because uh, yeah. People were failing against the bosses. Yeah. Or they expected people to fail. Because I think those perks have been there since the start. Yeah. I think so too. Like, you could just max out the dodge and don't uh, worry about the speed and then just go backstab instead. Yes. If you want extra extra boss killing capabilities, this at uh, this attacks so fast that you can attack the shield of a shielder. Then when they attack, you attack them again. <laughs> Makes sense. Like with a one-handed uh, strike uh, uh, path, uh, you can just overpower them. With this class, you just attack again and again and again. And it works. Yeah, it depends on what you like doing. Do you like stabbing or do you like stabbing? Do you like thrusting things into things or do you like uh, striking people? You made that sound so <laughs> weird. Yeah. Maybe a bit. And if you're having problems with bosses, just stand here. He will hit his hammer there 100% of the time if you stand right. Ow. Now we're both dying against this boss. As you can see, we do 18 damage per hit, though, without any boss killing talents. You do 18 damage? Yep. I did like 7. Have you maxed out damage? Yeah. Uh... Maybe because you killed him? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, probably. You, you can't do more damage than he has health. <laughs> I can try. Like, yeah. But you won't succeed. You don't know that. 
Yes, because that's how the game is programmed, mate. I'm not sure if I sh should take backstab. I think I'm going to do it just to show uh, you guys how much damage you can do. Strike. The critical strike is pretty self-explanatory. You do double of um, a billion damage. You do double you know, you insta kill. You kill them twice. You kill them twice. You get double the kills. Like it could be good against bosses as well. Yes. The problem is it's only five percent per level or per perk. It's not worth it. It's 25% if you put 5 po points in. Uh, then it's just w more worth it with backstab, really. You can miss your attack. So they can start attack you and you can attack them again. Yep. Like, you shouldn't be able to insta-kill the, the... the... the armored shielders with this, I think. A little bit broken. This is also the reason you don't need to make a hybrid class of this. This is doing exactly yeah. what it's supposed to do, and it doesn't need anything else. Like, you, if you want to go more tanky, though, you could just uh, don't care about speed and then just go toughness, I guess, on the tank build. Or you can just choose that as your last perk tree. Like yeah. I have, I can put three points now in speed, and then I have five points for toughness. Also, you're pretty decent against these ones because Not you can that just great, but you, you can do... just dodge them forever while stabbing them. Yeah, you do. F I do twenty damage per hit on him, and he can't hit me because I just dodge him. Like twenty damage on a full armor boss. I'm gonna hit him. Yeah, do it. Ow! Like, you should stab while he starts swinging. You will stab faster. Like, uh, he shouldn't. Uh, like, you shouldn't do 20 damage on a full armored enemy with thrust. I feel like. The armored like, boss. Like, you do 18 against the, the giants and you get 20 against him. Like, it's a bit broken, I think. For anti armor and anti. <laughs> Unarmored. We're just yeah. out of life. Yeah. Indeed. And one downside with this class is though there are not that many weapons that you can choose from. Yeah, there is like three if you don't want to be creative. Like you could the have the... The knife in the slot was actually decent. I tested it now. Yeah, but you don't really need it. You can just save up to... To rapier, I didn't buy anything until rapier. Yeah. Like you could buy the short, uh, is it called short sword? Yeah. That is uh, viable. Good job, mates. Yeah, you could also nice. go for the heavy hand axe. Here is short sword, uh, arming sword. Yeah, they are good for like beating at everything, but. If you're playing thrust, you want to do only thrust. I'm gonna yeah. get the heavy hand as you hit doing just thrust with it. Like test if you can insta kill everything with it. I was, uh, you know, I'll, I'll like buy insta kill these guys. Like insta kill these you guys. Don't attack as fast as with the short spear. Okay, yep, that's a. Uh, Quite the big a big of a downside. Let's see. Uh, you, let's see how much you damage could you can just, do. You could just put five points in finesse, then don't go further down the skill tree. Five points in finesse and five points in haymaker, and you have a yeah, pretty decent weapon. Just test how much damage you do. Eighteen. Yeah, as as much as I do with the short spear. Okay. That's yeah, decent. so it, it is the proper alternative. A little bit slower, but then you have the potential to just hack them to death. Yeah. As I said in the last episode, the Heavy Hand Axe is an all-around great weapon. Good yeah. at everything. Exactly. Not best at everything, though, because the nope. Shore Spear is still thrust faster. It's faster, and it does the same damage, basically, so... 
At least against unarmored, I'm not sure against unarmored. I can take care of unarmored groups with the heavy hand axe though, so that's pretty good. Uh, if you're having problems with group yeah. groups while playing, playing thrust, you can just do that. Yeah, as you have probably noticed though, uh, there's not really that much of a problem. Yeah. Because, you can because they no longer fast. have giant hordes, they spawn them in groups of five. Yeah. Like, even when we have these guys that uh, spawn even more, it's still not a problem. Oh, I missed. Yeah, that, that's violent. He died vi violently. I think maybe you don't insta-kill these guys if you don't uh, go for the head. I'm gonna try it. Nope, you don't. Uh, sometimes you do, because I didn't. I insta-killed them and I didn't... Uh, you probably that. have the double damage since you needed to go down. Maybe. Because I tested three of them and it didn't... In the head you insta-killed them though. Yeah. I can't just hit them with the heavy side of my axe. Like these boss guys uh, with armor get one shot by the axe if you do it in the head. I think the spear does a little bit more damage, but yeah. as I said, the heavy hand axe is not best at anything, it's great at everything though. Yeah, exactly. And you really have to just like access, you can pick that up. You can do axe and shield and have all those points. Yeah. That's a hybrid class we're gonna show. Yeah, probably. If, if you want to. Yeah, probably sometime, maybe. Not on the top of the list though. <laughs> no, no, not even close. Yeah. I think I will get the full backstab. I'm not sure though. I guess what? do it to show it off. Like, why? what round are we on? Oh, yep, I'm gonna get it. Nice. I'm just gonna show it off. And, like, oh, uh, here's a see. bunch of groups of unarmored. Then I can just do a. Uh, I don't know what I'm calling it. <laughs> slash? Like, it's not really slash. Strike? strike. It's called strike. Like, yeah. it feels wrong to call it strike, I think. Yeah, I feel so too, but we're just gonna call it what the game is calling it. Yeah, strike. You can just do strike damage if there's groups of weak ones. This yeah. act is awesome. <laughs> it's very nice indeed. I really like this act, okay? Yeah, that's good. As you can see, we can just dodge everything see, if you want. there's a group of these now. Yeah, there's so many peasants here, but... See, I could just use the axe for those. Axe them. Axe them a question. You attack so fast with this com or with this uh, build. Like the attack speed gets increased for strike damage as well. Yeah. So, like this, that's the reason dexterity is one of the fast, st strongest. Uh, like I'm, I'm losing words. I'm not proud of it. Yeah. As you can see, this boss can't really touch me. There's another one! End his misery! I will, I will. I'm just gonna buy bandage just to have it. Not really needed, but... Uh, he died very fast. <laughs> yeah, because backstab. Yeah, now we have 60% backstab damage. I'm gonna try it on the next boss. And My backstab is not weak, it's just no. not necessary. No, it's not necessary just at all. Just like how a critical strike isn't weak, it's just... 
not consistent and neither is it necessary. Like 5% to the double melee damage when you insta kill literally everything except the bosses. Yeah, you want consistency for the bosses and uh, you, the other guys are like, oh, we don't need it at all. Like, uh, if you're unlucky, you double damage, you can't really. Or like, if you're unlucky and you have five points in uh, in uh, critical strike, it can never proc ever in when you kill the bosses. And then it's re like, really it just wasted. On every single normal guy, but never the bosses. Yeah, then it's better just to take backstab, because backstab is at least uh, guaranteed. Reliable. reliable and guaranteed damage. I guess they're gonna just uh, do their normal attack. You're gonna of course, be behind them. You don't them. even need perks to win this. I'm gonna play through this without yeah. using any perks during one of our playthroughs. I'm not yeah. saying which one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not needed. Uh, my stab. We're just trying to show you what perks are best to use. Like, we're just and gonna show you guys what, what we think are worth it yeah. or not, really. Like, don't take us as experts. We have not made this game. We have no part in the making of this game. Yeah, and we have not played for, like, thousands of hours. Yeah, we've played, played for... I, we played I for, like, barely. hundreds. Hundred, maybe? Not barely hundred. hundred. <laughs> yeah, but we've played pretty much uh, Horde. Like, yeah. we've only yeah, played, played Horde. Only Horde. <laughs> yeah. We've only played Horde and like 60 to 80 hours, I think, something like that. I'm not sure. Either. It's a lot of Horde, but we almost only played Old Horde. We have played more Old Horde than the new here, yep. It's Old Horde that made me want to play this game. Yeah. Like, I think uh, they will change the perk system again. Because and right changed, now, uh, some perks are broken and some perks are unusable. Yeah. And I think they're gonna change how the waves work as well. Yeah, because right now the waves are so easy, I can actually use no perks as long as I buy a good weapon. Yeah, I'm now gonna try it uh, to see how much damage I do. I have, I have uh, three uh, in backstab, so let's see. 16 normally, and then I do... Oh shit, I can't really see because... He dies too fast. I can make him target me. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, he's gonna die now. I'm just gonna try it on the next one. Fuck it. Like, as you can see, you don't even insta-kill the bosses. And I, you don't insta-kill them even when they have full. So why would you even take it? When you can basically like... Uh... Oh, that hurt. I did 24 on him. 24 on him in on the backstab. That's not that great. Bullying him. Yeah. Like, this class is really good at taking out those uh, armored bosses. No, but if you just want to have a shield time while guaranteed win, just play this class. Yep. You don't like, really need to think while playing, you can just tr troll around. Like, if you want to insta-kill everything, play this class. If you want to be good at everything, play this class. Basically. If you want to attack super fast, play this class. I did a critical strike on a farmer. Yeah, that's totally needed. I'm being cornered, oh no. Yeah, they couldn't really do anything. I managed to crit and strike one of the shield knights. So he died instantly instead of almost instantly. Yeah, if you just aimed for the head, he would still die instantly though. I mean... Yeah. Like, sometimes it feels like the critical strike it's more than 5%, but sometimes it doesn't, because I feel like I have not gotten, gotten Critical Strike in, like, forever. <laughs> you just no, don't notice it and it's saying Critical Strike constantly. <laughs> yeah. Totally. That would be funny. 
But you have like 5%, so... Yeah, I only have 5% right now. Like, if it would be 10% and 50 at uh, full, then it would be kind of reliable, not it really. It would be strong then, uh, and usable. Then I would maybe pick it over backstab, like maybe, because... But 25%, that's so low. That's not worth it. I pick it over backstab because I don't like backstab. <laughs> But uh, if you just go from uh, how useful it is, backstab is better. I'm trying to I'm backstab sure, this guy. Sure it sounds good on paper doing a double damage, except it never procs. Like, I don't really do that much extra damage with backstab even. Huh. I only did 24, and I did without backstab 16 or 18. So, I mean, backstab... What if, what if you backstab in the head? <laughs> I, I don't think I reached that. Yeah. Like, they die so fast anyways, you don't really need... Like, that's why I said you don't really need backstab. And, uh, like, you could just uh, max out put a, speed. Put a point in the ult so we can showcase it. Yeah, I can uh, put that ult. Yeah. I can show you guys, uh, just so you know, if it's use useful for you. Like maybe you love uh, playing Ninja. Duration two seconds. Two though. seconds. Isn't the invis invincible old three seconds? Yeah. Like you're invincible and unflinchable for more one more second than vanish, and vanish just uh, cause them to lose sight of you. Like. They will still oh, this. This ult is so oh. good, bad. Like let's let's uh, let's try and use it. I'm gonna try to. It's not even the worst ult. No. Sadly not. I'm gonna try to uh, get corner. Can uh, can uh, the response more? Just wait for a large wave. There's 120 this time. Yeah, there's a bunch of enemies on the left side. I'm gonna go there. Let's see here. All right. I'm gonna act like my aunt. They don't see me for like two seconds, and then now they see me again. Like it's only good if you get cornered, and with this class, if you get cornered, it doesn't matter. You're playing wrong. But even if you get cornered, you just uh, insta kill everything, and you insta heal them. And because you attack so fast, you're gonna always be able to attack. Like, with some classes, uh, if you're cornered, you can't really do anything because they're gonna attack you too fast, and you, like, two-handed attacks really slowly, then you could be fucked. But with this class, yeah, you, 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 they can't really do anything. Like, you insta-kill the, the most tanky units. It's not even useful for the bosses, because uh, the bosses are immune to the ult, so they still see you. Like, you just uh, scroll, 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 and uh, you just attack so fast. You can still die, so don't play yeah. stupidly. Or, well, play stupidly, you revive in this new game mode. You know, in, yeah, a bit. I almost kill myself just to jump him. Like, I do 24 damage uh, from behind. That's not really worth it. Like, that's why I didn't recommend backstab even from the beginning. I recommend yeah, I speed. <laughs> like, you could take it just for the little extra damage. Is it worth it? Of okay, four? I died. <laughs> 80 damage before I died and I had no health. <laughs> As you can see, you're not super tanky. <laughs> In the next video, though, we're gonna cover the tank. The first tank class. Yeah, it's not really a tank, but it's good. 
It's part, like uh, it says it's a it part of the, the tank. It, it it has some of the best perks, but it's it's yeah. supposed to be the two-handed tree, but it's not really two-handed. Yeah. Like none, only one perk is related to hand to two-handed at all. Yeah. All the other perks are great for the, the one and the shield build. Yeah, you know, we're gonna cover that in the next video, hopefully. Video is still nowhere. Oh my god. This has been so easy. You notice how we can't really die? Oh, 35 by jumping headshot. Oh, nice. 35. That's pretty good. Like, the heavy hand is so great for this class. Yeah, the short spear is better. You just take care of farmers the good old way. <laughs> yeah. Now every fifth hit I should create to get a strike. Okay. So I put in that. Yeah. Uh, There's not really that many weapons to try out, though. Yeah, I, th I know. It's very sad. There's not enough thrust, and they should just... Uh, um, change finesse, uh, like uh, increase one of the thrust, to increase thrust, not one-handed. Just increase every thrust, like uh, anything. Then you would have more weapon choices. Yeah, then you could use the sp uh, it would two handed spear. It'll be one shot, but if you did the uh, long handed, uh, long hand of oh, fuck, I'm walking in circles now. If you uh, use the long spear, you would have more reach. Yeah, and uh, maybe it's, like some of you just prefers uh, two handed. Or you could play halberd. <laughs> yeah. Like, it would be viable to play uh, Halberd and stuff. Like, that would be that would be fun to do, but you can't do it because, yeah. Because they have done stupid with the perks. Like, yeah, let's hope they change that. The Bastard Sword doesn't one-hit when it's a, a strike damage. Okay. On the, on the Ninja guys, you know. These guys. Yeah, that's that's pretty weak. Yeah, it is a thrust weapon, but I thought it would have an edge on the strike as well. But nope, if you want to be able to kill the villagers as well, just use the hand axe. The bastard sword is never worth buying. Yeah, it's very weak. Very weak. Sure, it kills the normal villagers. Okay, it doesn't go through them that easily, even. <laughs> like, if I would be able to use Halberd and this, this normal spear and everything... I find the normal spear just to show how useless it is right now. Alright, I'm gonna buy it. Like, it would... It, would, it will probably insta-kill uh, normal uh, peasants. Well, if it didn't insta-kill normal peasants, it would be useless completely from the start. But yeah. I didn't use to use it before either. <laughs> like you can only thrust with this spear as well. Like see, see how the range, it's so much range from the normal spear. It feels so nice to have this range. But uh, if you want to do damage, you can't use it. Like t test on these nice now. Okay, I'm gonna this... test on these ones. Okay, he paired me. 76 on that guy. And it was backstab, so it was 100% more damage. Yeah. You, you can't even kill them with 100% more damage to the spear. Let's like, check uh, the damage on the boss. Because you can't increase this damage. 14 damage with the backstab. Compared to... I do 18 in the front. Oh, he just died. Did yeah, I, let's see. You did I okay. Backstab, uh, yes. Backstab with the short spear. Okay, he turned around so fast. Uh, wait, I, I, I need to do it again. <laughs> He's gonna die now. 22 with a backstab compared to 14. 
Like this spear feels so nice to compare to short spear. The problem is it's useless because they wanted it to be useless. It's funny because they've made more two-handed weapons and better two-handed weapons, but they really butchered the two-handed weapons. I only do seven from the front. Stab him in the head. Yeah, I did, I did seven. Now. I did seven. Seven damage. Oh my god, I killed them. I'm not no, sure. I kill them. <laughs> I'm gonna test the rapier. I did 15. 10 on the head. 15 in the back with the rapier. 26 here now on this guy. But I don't have backstab, so I do 15 damage with the rapier. That's more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I have 100% more damage, and I still do less damage. I'm gonna test the bastard sword next. <laughs> See if that beats the spear, you know, the spear that cost a bunch. Like, this spear would... I would always buy this spear if uh, they just change uh, this to... The spear cost about the same, 2200 yeah. on the... Like, if they just... Uh... I'm guessing they just did the same damage on both of them as, you know, same base damage. Yeah. And just be like, oh, if you want to have a short spear, here's that, and if you want to have a long spear, here's that. Like, if there's a lot of peasants, the spear works, but uh, ev anything really works against that, so I mean, that's not viable at all. They could just change it to thrust, like every thrust, uh, melee, uh, every it's thrust. class better as well. Like, you would have more weapons, and. Uh, yeah, it would be more fun, really. Like, the short spear is nice, but the, sh the, the normal spear That's is That's one so thing long. I really dislike about what they've done with the new class perk system. They made it so you can't really switch weapon type in the middle of a game. If I were yeah. to sell all my stuff now and buy a halberd, I would do no damage at all. Yeah, if exactly. I would sell all my stuff and do, uh, buy a bow, it would be laughably little damage. Like, they should implement a system where you can reset your perk points, like, every it five could, rounds. It, it, could even, it could even cost gold. Like, we have yeah. a bunch of extra gold. Like, it it could cost gold and, uh, like, a bunch of gold, really. So you can't do it early game, like, super early. And they should probably increase the wave number as well. Uh, or just yeah, they this, should just this change this the, the waves. Thunder. They should change the waves and do more waves, or just to add like an uh, endless mode. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot uh, a lot of people wants to just uh, play endlessly sometimes. And if you a want, a lot to of quit, people want the old hood. <laughs> yeah, that too. felt like an endless mode because you were constantly gay. <laughs> yeah. Endless chased. I do 38 to these guys with a normal spear. 38, and I insta kill them with uh, the normal spear or the short spear. That, that doesn't make the, sense. Now I'm gonna test the bastard sword, how much damage that does with a thrust on these. Alright. 21. That's decent. It did 21. The bastard sword is apparently a boss killer. Who could have thought? Apparently this does a lot against unarmored opponents. Doesn't really help since you can insta kill the farmers Yeah, how much anyway. damage do you do now? 21. 21. Let's see how much I do. I think I do... Yeah, 18. You do 3 more damage, but you're useless against armored. Yeah. I would so say if you that's not if you're having problems with the bosses even still by the bastard sword. I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And that's just the giant bosses, not the armored one. Yeah, the armored one this sword is useless against. Yeah. Not worth it at all. Ow. Like the bosses would be hard if they had like four 
three or four shielders and then like two bowmen behind them maybe. Like they should be co they should be with enemies, not alone. They are not even a threat. Like you could play without perks and kill them alone super easily. You could just have them follow you forever and throw spears in them. By the way, if you have yeah. extreme problems with close range against bosses and you don't want to play with archery, yeah. spears cost very little and are anti-boss. You mean the javelins, but yes. Javelins, yeah. I mean javelins, but that's basic spears. Throwing spears. Yeah, yeah like the javelins do, I think, 16 damage, something like that, to the giant bosses. And uh, they, uh, like, you get ammo from them uh, passively, so you have infinite ammo, basically. Yeah, we have actually a, a custom class for that later. <laughs> yeah. It's more know. of a troll class, but it's work. <laughs> troll slash... Hey, I'm gonna uh, test the battle sword against that, but I'm stuck. Look at me, I'm stuck! Seriously? Uh, Are you... Anyway, I'm gonna test against this boss. Seven how damage, how much do you do? I'm gonna check. Uh, nine, but that was a backstab, so... I do nine and six with, my, with a critical. You do one more damage than me. I'm getting beat up, Pulp. We should kill him before the farmers. Leave a farmer. Okay, yep. <laughs> a farmer should be the last one, not this guy. Like, how is this guy more tanky than the guy with full armor? He only has a... F uh, has a... When I treat that, you do 10 against that guy. Anyway, this will be the end of the video. Say goodbye yep. to Mr. Farmer. Bye-bye, Farmer. Bye-bye.